What's going on guys? This is the JSAR Hawk and I'm going to show a very simple mod that you can do to this to increase the power and make it much more efficient. What I'd like you to do is to refer to my teardown video so that you can get this upper action, this cocking breech section in your hand. Once you have that off and you have it in your hand, come back to this video and I'll show you what you do to do that simple mod to increase the power on it. Okay guys, we've got the upper breech off of the Hawk and I'm going to show you a way where you can get a little bit more power out of your Hawk with a very, very simple uh, modification. Very, very easy to do and it's, it has to do with the transfer port. Well, we have the transfer per, port tube, tube here and that goes into this breech opening. I want you to take a look at the size of that transfer port down there. I want you to just take a peek at that. That's pretty small. When we look at the barrel opening, that's equally as small. But what we can do while we're in there is we can get a better transfer of air through this air rifle if we increase the size of that transfer opening to match the size of this opening. This is fairly large here. If you were to measure what that transfer opening is, you'd be somewhere around the 3 16th uh, area. So I'm going to get a drill bit here just to demonstrate there's 3 16 and you can see that fits on there very very nice so if a 3 16 were used through this opening to increase all the way through that breech block we would have a nice open path as long as we don't increase it so wide that the shoulder gets removed for the o-ring down in there so let's go ahead and remove that o-ring that's at the bottom like that and what you could do is take this to a drill press with a 3 16 drill, drill it down through, clean it up so it's not rough, get some of the uh, burrs off the edges, or we can simply do this with a hand drill, which is what I'm going to do here. This is aluminum, it's very easy to do, so that's what we're going to do to do with this, uh, this modification. I'm going to chuck up this drill, and as you can see, that's a fairly lengthy 3 16 Okay, we've got it ready to go, we've got this chucked up. I'm going to use it on slow speed and all I'm going to do is at the center I'm going to simply drill that hole out as straight as I can just keep it straight and drill that to 3 16 okay we just pop through and then I'm going to take this, because it shoulders up to a quarter of an inch, and all I'm going to let it do is deburr that edge so that uh, we don't have a rough edge there. I'm going to get all the filings out of the way so this thing is, is uh, good and clean. And then the last deburr portion that I was telling you about, I'm going to do that by hand. And all I'm doing is spinning that by hand just to make sure that that aluminum is good and clean. And I'm going to show you and a semi close up here. I hope, hopefully it'll focus. You can see that hole is much bigger now. The thing that we've done is take all those filings out, but what I want to do is make sure that when the barrel goes in, there's no burrs inside that are going to cause issues on my barrel. So I'm just going to get a larger drill bit and use it in the shank, use the rear shank of it to push it in to clean up that edge to make sure that there's nothing on it. So let's go ahead and use like a 3 8 something like a 3 8 size here and all I'm doing is taking the rear of it and I'm going to push it through and as you can see that little piece of aluminum came out and I'm just making sure I get any rough edges off of that hole we just made and you can see all the little pieces are coming off of it and I'm looking in there it looks really good now that's so that these o-rings do not get ruined when I'm trying to put the barrel back in. When I put it in, I don't want to ruin them. So I'll also take a piece of emery cloth or a, a rat tail file, a rasp, work it through here, and just clean that edge up so that what we're doing is making sure that down inside there, we don't have any burrs. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep deburring this. Okay. 
And for those that are asking, this is a high speed steel uh, Z, the size is Z. It's a, a little bit smaller than what we need, but if you find something that's tight, that fits in here, that you can slide the shoulder of this across, very hard steel, and you're just making sure that there's no bumps, nothing sticking up out of that aluminum. I'm very happy with that. That's good. So we've just increased our transfer port there. I'm gonna make sure there's no metal filings in here. Everything's good and clean. I'm going to just take a little bit of material and I'm just cleaning in through that hole to make sure that it's good and clean. At this point, I'll put the O-ring back inside. Make sure the O-ring sits right down inside and it doesn't go partially into the hole. We want it sitting right down inside. And then we're going to take our transfer port and we're going to line it up using a brass hammer. I'm just going to tap it down really light, nothing big, just tapping it into place, knowing that everything is good, straight, aligned like it's supposed to be and ready for reassembly. And I'm looking down here to make sure that we're not tipped left or right. It's a pressure fit on this thing. So it's good to go, everything's good, this is it. Now we'll continue back on a reassembly. Well guys, that's it, it's a pretty simple mod. Uh, use the teardown video for taking the rifle apart to do this mod, and then use the teardown video to put it back together again. I will have a lot more future mod videos like this that will refer to the teardown video to get to a certain stage. And then in the video mod itself, it'll keep it small, showing just the modification. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate you watching. Take it easy.